Susan got an A. Yay. A lot of clapping over there. Who else did really well? Awesome. An innovative program in Jackson 7 Public High Schools has the city's public school teachers flipping their classrooms, using technology to reach students, and working closely with the University of Mississippi Medical Center to establish a health sciences career academy in each school. The Health Academies Initiative is part of the Academy Model Initiative, a larger initiative JPS is putting together. It's fundamental curriculum change within the district. This year, each high school will have the Freshman Academy for the ninth grade and three career academies uh, housed by 10th graders. And the Health Sciences will be one of them. Uh, here at Murrow, our Health Science Academy is Academy of Sports, Medicine, and Wellness. Smaller groups of students, roughly 150 students at each academy at each school. These are students that will be led by, interact with a small group of teachers but unlike regular high school where you flip from class to class and teacher to teacher, the small core of teachers will stay with that cadre of students throughout their high school years. It's a critical phase for our two institutions to work together cooperatively, especially if you're starting a health science initiative. If you are going to work in the Health Science Initiative, you're going to really need to partner with obviously one of the largest health providers in our state in order to determine what kind of curriculum, what kind of experience our students need in order to be prepared. Increasingly, we use technology to allow the students to access content, knowledge, whenever and wherever they want to, out of class, at home, at the mall, and then they come back to class, they work with the teacher and with groups of other students to think more deeply about those facts that they learned wherever they learned them. I do find it helpful because it's given a bunch of new ideas, especially, you know, since most of the kids are really into the technology, so it's a nice way to learn different ways to get them more interested in something besides games. And, and it's great, a great concept not to have to regurgitate what they can already exactly. learn on their own They can go outside. do it and when we come to class we can be ready to start instead of having to explain a whole bunch of stuff and losing a lot of class time. And I would imagine that from a teaching aspect the interaction with the kids, the back and forth, the conversation is so much better than... Exactly. You get their interest more because they are actually participating instead of me doing all the talking and they just sitting there listening. We're going to be able to tap into some time that wasn't being used so productively like outside of class at home that homework time so their home time becomes more productive learning time and the flipped classroom also allows for the classroom time to become way more productive than it would be in a traditional setting so kids don't hear a lecture they actually have no, a conversation they're actually having conversations with each other um, with their teacher uh, not just listening to what the teacher has to say but also uh, providing input and maybe taking the conversation to the next level using some higher order thinking and some problem solving as well. The entire work of the healthcare academies and all of the academies really is to prepare these kids for college, to increase their ACT scores and to have them better ready for the outside world. We're really excited about aligning with this group through Align with Jackson and participating with all of this work. UMMC has really come to the table with the time and commitment of all these individuals that are here to help make this process a successful one. Today is a wonderful experience for the teachers uh, to actually see some of the things that happen at the hospital, some of the teaching uh, mechanisms that are here, and how they can be used at the high school level. Um, some of the hands-on, why do we need to know this type material that students really want to know when they're in the classroom. And it's also giving us an opportunity to learn how to provide more engaging lessons for students who are growing up in a technology age. You wish you had this when you were growing up? Oh, definitely, definitely. It would have given me a lot more direction when I got ready to enter college. The question of what are you going to be when you grow up wouldn't be so big.